In 2014, mate, Disney decanonized the entire original expanded universe, declaring all the books, all the comics, all the games, all as non-canon. Only the six cinema films and the Clone Wars cartoon survived as canon. All new Star Wars content from 2014 onwards would automatically be considered canon, and because of this, a surprising amount of characters from the old video games have now been written back into official Star Wars canon. Grand Admiral Thrawn is probably one of the EU characters that fans are most happy about seeing finally ratified in the new canon. Now, I've done a video about Thrawn's origins in the Expanded Universe and in the TIE Fighter PC game, you can check that out here. Thrawn is a ruthless military commander and in TIE Fighter his tactical brilliance is used to help keep local systems in check with very little contact really with the Rebel Alliance. Now the Rebel show changed that significantly but everything else about the character is practically perfect. When LucasArts came to make Shadows of the Empire, a new Star Wars episode set between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, they needed that cocky smuggler cowboy character to replace the currently stuck in carbonite and Solo. Enter one of the most divisive characters in Star Wars history, Dash Rendar. Dash Rendar is the lead character in the 1996 PC and Nintendo 64 game Shadows of the Empire. He's a rootin' and tootin' cowboy smuggler and he's got his own action figure. Now, Disney have never officially declared Dash Rendar as officially canon, but Dash's modified Corellian transport, the Outrider, was actually edited into the background of the 1997 special edition of A New Hope. So that's it, no questions asked, it's in a film, it's canon. Star Wars Republic Commando, an absolutely fucking brilliant shooter. It's a dirty, grittier look for Star Wars and it features a crack squad of clone commandos. And it's still a solid shooter, even if you're not a Star Wars fan. Republic Commando introduced us to the idea of good guy clones before we'd ever even heard of Commander Cody or Captain Rex. Boss, Fixer, Scorch and Sev are forever cemented into canon due to their one appearance in a single episode of Dave Filoni's Clone Wars cartoon. It feels like Dave Filoni and the guys behind Clone Wars and then later on Rebels are desperately trying to write as much of the old EU back into canon as they can. And we've seen so much stuff now from the old Republic timeline creeping up. I think we need an honourable mention to Revan here. Very few Star Wars characters have proved as enduring as Revan. Originally appearing in Knights of the Old Republic, Revan's been all over the EU, he's got books and comics and all kinds of stuff, and he was almost canonized in an episode of the Clone Wars cartoon. The episode was canned before it aired, but you can check it out on YouTube, so he was nearly canon. The next two are dead weird. Hindrin Dark first appeared in the Ensemble Studios Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. Just made up for the game. He was serving on Grand Moff Tarkin's flagship, the Executrix. Now, for no real reason whatsoever, he's name dropped in the Rogue One Ultimate Visual Guide as the captain of the Executrix. Now, like that, he's canon. <laughs> the same can be said for a character called Cian Teeve. Teeve first appears in the X-Wing PC game way back in the early 90s, and he also appears as a character in another Star Wars strategy game, Empire at War. C.N. Teeve is mentioned in the Battlefront novelization Twilight Company. And there you go, just like that, two random blokes from some shitty old PC games, they're now more canon than Galen Marek. Ah, come on, it doesn't matter anyway. The old head canon is, is way more important now than it ever was. Just choose what you want to be canon and it's going to be fine. Now, for me, Kyle Katarn will always be the bloke who stole the Death Star plans. And that's fine. If that's wrong, then I don't want to be right. Thanks for watching. There's more Star Wars stuff on the way, so hit that subscribe button. Cheers.